Fernando Alonso believes Max Verstappen is being crucified by the British media in the same way he was a decade ago. You know, I brought to the team half a second, six tenths, whatever, and I don't see anything giving me back, you know. But is that true? Is there really a British bias? The majority of the paddock is filled with British influence, but F1 isn't truly a British sport. It's governed by the FIA, which is an international organization based in France, run by an American mass media company that has huge plans of making it popular in the US by making television programs and increasing the number of races in the country. While the sport's traditional home is Europe, with over 60% of the races held in the region, the championship has had presence all over the world and new locations are being explored in a bid to make as much money from the oil-rich countries. I seriously doubt a country like Saudi Arabia requires a Formula 1 race now. Point here is, F1 has been global but was limited to a few geographies as it failed to take off in India, South Korea, Malaysia and most recently Vietnam. This is where we can see the sport's true British presence as 7 of the 10 teams are either British or have their primary base in the UK and historically 36% of the teams to have competed in Formula 1 are British with Italy coming in at a distant second. While pure British teams have won 31 constructor titles, the number jumps up to 44 if we include the teams based in the UK. But why are most non-British teams operating from the region? Britain has a well-versed infrastructure of specialist industries that support motor racing teams. England can be considered as the Silicon Valley of motor racing. Traditionally, the British media has always been savage and has been brutal when it comes to criticizing athletes. Following the British Grand Prix, most of the so-called pundits claimed it to be a racing incident and some even went as far as I think Max was at fault. I think Honestly, mate, what a joke. You don't need to be an expert or a racing driver to see that Hamilton is clearly at fault. But majority of the British media played it safe by dismissing it as a racing incident. Although Alonso himself has been fierce many times, there is a fair point that he's making here. F1 media is dominated by British and can make a non-British driver out of place.